friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. In today's video we have some happy mail to open. So I ordered some decoupage napkins um, off of Hedy's Hobbies and Gifts on Facebook. I will leave a link for the shop down in the description box below if you're interested to have a browse. I get a lot of questions from people as to where I get my napkins and this time this is where I bought them so um, if you're interested to have a look at what they have check the link in the description I'm not affiliated or sponsored in any shape or form I'm just telling you where I got them from so this is actually a lucky dip of decoupage napkins the shop doesn't usually do this kind of thing but I saw it on one of the decoupage pages um, and and I decided to get 20 random napkins. So in this video, we're just gonna open this up and have a look to see what we have in here. I'm really excited to open it. I have no idea. It's my first time doing something like that. Usually um, I spent like hours and hours browsing um, different, different decoupage napkin shops and eBay for decoupage napkins and I end up buying like five um, and it takes me three hours to, you know, the, to, to actually commit to buying them and then they come and I still don't know what to do with them. Um, I can't come up with an idea. So I'm excited to see what's inside there. Sometimes it's really nice to have somebody else to make that decision for you. <laughs> Ooh! There's the little business card that they put in here for me. So you can find them on Facebook if you'd like. Um, Hedy's Hobbies and Gifts. And like I said, I will leave a link in the description below. Alright, let's open these up. These will definitely get reused. Right, okay. So we have some lovely... Oh gosh, I don't even know what you call these. They're very like country-ish country-esque napkins very nice this would be lovely on some kind of tray or like a little caddy or something like that that would that would definitely look nice on that um, some magnolias very interesting oh I like this one I do like this one this will be perfect for autumn for like um, oh yeah, and I love mushrooms. Anybody else out there loves mushrooms? Because I know mushrooms are very like, a lot of people are on the fence about them. You either love them or you hate them. Do you like mushrooms? I love mushrooms personally. I remember as a kid my parents always used to take me um, mushroom picking, hunting, whatever you call it. That's lovely, I like that one. Oh, with some nice grapes. Again, see, this is what I'm saying. It's not something that I personally would have picked for myself because I always go for the same kind of very vintagey, very like um, very like Victorian patterns and something a bit more like expensive looking. I don't really I've never really done like country-esque type stuff before so it's and it's really it's actually quite perfect because my past few creations that I've made were very like country-esque farmhouse like so um, I think I'm finally getting to the stage where I'm interested in trying out something a bit more farmhousey so it's going to be perfect uh, some lovely lovely sunflowers you could definitely use these for um, you could definitely just use them as motives so just rip these bits up and then stack them together and whatnot so Perfect. Very interesting. Oh, I like this. Doggies. Who doesn't like dogs? I mean, I like dogs. Can't wait for the day that we can get a dog. And so there's two different prints with dogs. This one and this one with the two. I really like this one with the two. I think this would be perfect for like a, um, like a little jewellery box for a little girl or something like that. That would be nice. Oh, yes. I like this. Again, I don't think I've even ever seen any of these before. Ah, oh, this is pretty. So there's, on one side it just says London and it has the double-decker, Union Jack and Big Ben. 
and then on the other side we have the whole scene. I really like this one. This one again would be perfect for like a flat jewellery box type thing um, to go on top or even just a plaque or something like that. Perfect. Oh yes. I really like this. And uh, you're gonna get bored by the end of the video of hearing me say I like this. <laughs> this is lovely. Again, very feminine, very like girly-ish. I really like this. Oh, see, this is the kind of stuff that I would personally usually go for. Um, something more like more vintagey. So this one has um, again two prints. So one says home, and then home sweet home, shabby chic home. And then the other one says shabby chic and then home sweet home on here. This is this this one is really nice. I really like this print. And dogs, ah, oh, this is very nice. It's like a very wintry wintry theme. There you go. Some ducks. See, something like this again is really, really nice if you have like a longer box or, or a tray that you're working on because this is actually not two separate images or the same image repeated on the same side it's actually like it's actually just one long image which can be a bit of a problem when you want to actually put like a whole scene and not just like a pattern but you have a longer piece to work on so this is going to be perfect for again things like a tray for example you could lay this on a tray if you rip the edges instead of cutting them you can lay this napkin down and then you can um, to mask the edges because obviously trays are usually a little bit wider than this so you'd have bits of paint either side and you could just use um, a stencil for example to mask the border um, so yeah perfect this would be really really lovely I know I know who would like this my mum would like this <laughs> so I think I might have to make her something with this napkin so that's the first 10, so I'm just going to open up the second one. Ah, Easter theme, see that's the one, see, Easter theme is not like me at all, at least, at least at this stage in my life I don't really, I've never liked celebrating. Do you celebrate Easter? Is anybody in your life like me, like don't like Easter at all? Mm -mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, d I don't really like Easter, I don't like the whole theme of it. I do like the look of like, I I've seen loads of people make these very intricate, almost Fabergé looking kind of Easter eggs um, and decorate them. They look very pretty, but again, if that was a, a, a block and not an egg, I think I would like it just as much. Anyways, <laughs> not that it matters, but yeah, we have like a little baby chick and a bunny. Um, again, it could be really nice. Um, it could be made really nice if you are into um, Easter themes, but you never know. I might I might have to use it one day. This is very nice. Oh, that next one gets me excited. Let me see. Let's open this one up first. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen napkins like this before. See, I've never come across a napkin like this before on eBay, because I usually get all of my napkins on eBay. But this is like a whole big, full-on picture in a napkin size. I've never seen anything like that. So you could just make canvas with this. You could just put this on the canvas and there you go, you have a nice picture. Um, or you could use, of course, you could use separate pieces of it. Um, you know, just use like this side or this side, but again, if you have a large tray that you need to do or you want some canvas or something like that, this would be perfect. Oh, this is very neat, this next one. I like this a lot. I'm definitely going to use this a whole lot again. This one, see, this one is more, I, I've seen stuff like this before where it's more versatile, so you could use it just as like one side, just two squares, or you could use the whole thing, but because it's a pattern, it's a lot easier. Of course, with patterns, you can use whatever you want, but like the, the one before that, which is like a whole scene, a whole picture, 
I've never seen those before, but this one, look at that. It's got like gold foiled bits on it. That's so cool, that's so nice. Like that, and some nice glossy finish on top. Oh yes. <laughs> this is different, very... Reminds me of like Kath Kidston a whole lot. Um, and that kind of stuff is is very popular among some people, so yeah, I do like it. I think I have I have a friend who would probably like this kind of print a whole lot. Again, not my kind of style personally, but again, as somebody that doesn't just create stuff for me or for my family, for example, I make stuff for sale. I get orders. I get custom orders from people, um, and you just never know if somebody is gonna want you to make something that looks like this that isn't particularly your style, but um, it doesn't mean that I can't make something using this. So it's perfect. You know what, I, I'm starting to think that I need to do these kind of things a, a, a bit more often where I just kind of grab a lucky dip and just and just get somebody else to make that decision for me. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. It kind of reminds me, I have um, a set of napkins with a big like chamomile thingy so um, and it takes up like the whole square but it's blue. Um, so this is really nice. Also, sunflowers. Who doesn't like sunflowers? Um, very nice, summer inspired um, for like summer fairs and, and, and whatnot. This would be perfect. Or this uh, questionable, questionable. I personally wouldn't pick this for me, but again, who knows? Um, you never know. Um, we've, we have a little chick and a bunny, maybe something for children's rooms. I personally wouldn't, I don't know, I at the moment I can't see myself using this, but obviously it's still gonna go in my stash because, like I said, you just never know. Oh, this is nice, I do like this one. It's got some nice herbs on it. It says, plant a seed, watch it grow, water, soil and roots. I like this one. Again, very country. Ah, this is fun. Again, very summery. Ice lollies! <laughs> this is fun, again, for a nice little box for a um, for a kid. Perfect. Oh, well, this is, again, very much me. Roses. I just like florals. I like flowers. Um, anything vintagey and flowery. It's got my name written all over it. I do like this one. A whole lot. Again, this could be used as a whole picture or you could just use these border bits. Um, you could even layer it so you could so you could use this, apply it on something like a piece of furniture or something big that you're doing like canvas and then here where it's all white you could apply another napkin over the top, another motive, rip it out out of another napkin or use rice paper over the top or, or even transfer over the top of it and and there you go, you have a nice picture with an amazing border around it. And then the last one is this one. Oh, this is really, really nice. I do like it. Very happy and very country. Again, I'll be trying out a lot of country <laughs> in the next year. So I do really like this one. I, I really like, not so much like this middle bit, um, but these little... But this whole thing going on here, I really like that. You could definitely rip that bit out and just like layer it. So there you go. So there's my happy mail. Um, I really, really like this actually. I think whenever I see that somebody's doing another one of these napkin lucky dips, I'm definitely going to do another one. It's really, really fun. Out of, I mean, there's 20 napkins here and out of all of them, um, I'm not too keen on like two. So it's definitely... Um, it was definitely, definitely worth it and I'm really, really happy with the napkins that I've received. Thank you so much, I'm definitely going to be using them, especially the, the more vintage ones because, I mean, that's just, that's just what I do. <laughs> I do, I do vintage stuff, I like it. So there you go. Let me know which one of these napkins was your favourite, which one did you like the most and what would you apply it to? Because I would like to know, I want to know um, I want to know what kind of ideas 
this whole thing sparked in your head. And also let me know what you think of these kind of chattier videos, if you would like to see more of them. Also, um, do you like seeing my face in videos? <laughs> Because I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to experiment with what I'm doing here on this channel and what people prefer to see, if people prefer to see just hands or if they like to see a face as well with it. Um, do you like my candle? I'm trying to set the mood over here um, with a little bit of fairy lights and a candle. Um, quick side note, since we're having a chatty video, I'm going to be getting a brand new desk very very soon so I'm super super excited about it I can't wait it's gonna be amazing I am giving in okay this is very hard for me to admit but I'm having to give in and I'm gonna be buying from Ikea please don't judge me <laughs> I don't really like the idea of Ikea furniture um, as you can see in my background you know I'm not the type of person that would buy Ikea stuff but for a workspace, for a work desk, I mean, they have the best selection for the best price. So I think I'm giving in. <laughs> but anyways, I'm very excited to have a nice new desk. It's going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to have more storage in it. So I'm not going to be all surrounded by stuff all the time. Well, for a little while anyways. And also, whenever you do see my hands and what I'm doing in videos, you'll have a nice white background to look at. <laughs> I'll finally stop using my little tablecloths for background because this desk has been through a lot, okay? <laughs> I've had this desk for over three years. I bought it second hand. I've had it for over three years. I stupidly repainted it um, using chalk paints without letting it cure properly and started using it and as much as I like repainted furniture it's not the best for a workspace um, especially when you do stuff like what I do there's a lot of sanding there's a lot of bumping into things there's a lot of there's a lot going on a lot of paint everywhere so painted furniture isn't the best unfortunately as much as I would like to just have a nice classy painted desk so it's been through a lot it's time to say goodbye so I'm going to be getting a new desk. But yeah, that's what's new in my life. <laughs> so I got some napkins. I'm getting a new desk soon. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for notifications so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Let me know if you would like me to do a video on a specific topic because I'm always looking for ideas. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, there's links for my Facebook, Instagram and also my Etsy shop page um, down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!